Well, sitting for hours at the cube farm could be tough on the body. A fitness expert is here with some tips on how women can work in a little exercise while on the job. Meredith is out on the patio with Susan from Tone Up Santa Barbara, along with Sharon and Claire. Meredith? Good morning, Tony. I have a fitness expert here with us. This is Susan from Tone Up Santa Barbara. And so excited for you to hear with us. Tell us, what is your uh, specialties that you have with your classes? Well, I, I work with a lot of different ages of women, and I, I always work with women primarily, but um, I work with different ages and I work with different skills, and I'm going to show you some things today that are very simple exercises, not necessarily easy, but simple to do at home, and uh, that's what we're going to do today. Now, some of us spend a lot of time at work, so are these great ones you can do at work? Uh, yeah, probably, or home in the bathroom before you go to work. <laughs> Great advice. Well, I have the help of Sharon and Claire here, and she's going to show us how you can do these simple exercises. So start with the first one. What are you going to show okay, us? We're going to do some push-ups and very easy, simple things. What you do is you want to make sure you put your hands on the bar or on the back of the chair. Make sure you don't fall. And we're going to work with a grip. So you always have a grip this way, never the women way, but the man way. Okay, so you just take your body, keep it very tight, and go down and up. Just like this. This is the first one. We're just going to do everything normally for about a minute, but today not. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to just take our um, bend your knees from your hips. So come in back, come in close to the bar or to the chair, and we're going to do toe taps. So you tap your feet as fast as you can. You're pushing your knees forward and sticking your rear end all the way back. Is this great for any age? Is this great for any athletic level? Any age, any athletic level, um, really good place to start. It's good for mobility. It's going to work on stability of your body and mobility. Then you take your feet back behind you, and you're just going to do some calf raises. Okay, this works all the way up the back of the legs, so you're keeping your knees straight, just rolling up and down. What's a typical time length for this sort of thing? If you want to plan, is it 10 minutes, 15? No, no, no. Just do this for about 30 seconds. I meant the whole, the whole workout you're going to go uh, through. The whole thing, you can do it in 5 minutes or 10 minutes, depending on how long you want to do each thing. You should do it until you can't do it anymore. <laughs> okay, then you take your foot back, and you're just going to circle your ankle. So after you do your calf raises, you take your foot back. So, Sharin, you want to circle your ankles, and then you circle the other way. This is for mobility in the ankle joint. Okay, it stretches the calves, you do both feet. And how many times a week do you suggest doing this to maybe start to see a little bit of results? I would say for this little routine, you could do this five times a week. Right. Okay, then we're going to take our hands behind our back or the towel that I have. And again, you grip your hands on the towel or with your hand, if you can hold your hands, and you're just doing a chest opener. Because after you do the push-ups, you want to make sure you stretch your chest out. So you're just pressing back like that. Yeah, you get really tight and you want to balance your body, okay? Then you can place this back down. Then we're going to do some ski squats. And this is oh really boy. For mobility in the ankles, the knees, and the hips. And you just take your elbows and just lean on your thighs like this. It's very close. Sounds fun. <laughs> Squatting back. So you can just l actually lean on your legs. Oh. Just rest on them, yeah. Well, let me ask uh, Sharin, how's it feeling? Is this pretty easy? Um, it's actually pretty good. I mean, I, c I can see if I actually did this for 30 seconds yeah. continuously, you would definitely feel something. Yeah. Claire, how are you doing back there? Good. I, th I think it's cool because we're actually like, in our work clothes and we can do this. So it's something that's totally feasible for anybody. So I think, I think in between newscasts, we'll be doing this <laughs> in commercial breaks. <laughs> so can you do it in heels or is that bad? Well, well heels actually makes it a lot easier. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to come up and do another one here for your chest for opening. Just take your elbows, pretend you're leaning against a wall, or actually standing against a wall would be even better. And you just slide your arms straight up and down. So if you could stand against a wall and do it, this would be better. So your back of your hands are touching the wall, back of your head is touching the wall. Okay. Well, we're getting down to our final 30 seconds, okay. so any uh, tips as far as when we're doing this, uh, how to keep it up, maybe a motivational contest at work? Um, well, I would do my challenge for everybody would be to, while you're brushing your teeth in the morning, stand on one leg, especially if you have an electric toothbrush and it tells you a minute, stand on one leg for a minute, and then stand on your other leg for a minute. Great. That would be great. Well, thank you so much. You can find more information on the website. And uh, Sharon, any last comments on the... Uh, All right. Workout? I usually like to do squats when I, do my, when I brush my teeth. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us. Great tips. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you back here on Monday.